Hey everybody and welcome back. So today is favorites time already. Like literally, um, I've been so crazy busy that I totally was going to film something else today because I can only film once a week with my schedule right now um, to where I almost didn't film my favorites realizing probably too late that it would have been February. Would have been over. But anyway, I didn't. So I'm here with my February favorites. <coughs> That's been happening like a lot. Like the last like two days, I've been getting all like weird, and all of a sudden my voice will just start to like fade away mid sentence. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I don't have a ton of favorites this month, just because I feel like I've been using the same stuff nonstop. Like I'm ride or die for that tart, um, the contour palette. Dude, I use that every single day still. This is the second month in a row. So, I mean, that could count as a favorite. I don't know if you want to see that again, but I'm just, uh, re-update. This is the second month in a row that I cannot put that down. I have everything on my face today from that, obviously besides the highlighter, because there's really not one in there. Anyway, going ahead and getting into it for this month, I'm just going to start with nail polish. Mind you, this is one of those things where it's not like a color that I use like over and over within like the same week or anything. I wear for multiple days because I take my nail polish off so quickly. But this is just a great shade that I find myself wanting to go back to more and more. And it's just the shade Eternal Optimist from Issy. As you can see it's just like a really pretty like rose beige shade. It's just really really good if you have just more of like a natural vibe for your nails. This is really good. It has a little bit of color in there for you and it's just, it's one of my favorite shades from Issy at the moment. Issy is my OG nail polish favorites. Before I found all my indie favorites. Really good, good quality polish. And then I have a hair favorite. I really like travel size stuff. I feel like that's better for me to try stuff out. That's my thing. So I tried the Chi Argan Oil Plus Moringa Oil, but it basically says Argan Oil on here. This is the mini tiny bottle. Mind you, this was like $3, which is kind of crazy. I didn't realize that until I checked out because they had a sign above it that said like $1.99, but apparently it wasn't for this. Anyway, I've been using, what I'll do is after I get out of the shower and I do my little, um, thing with the hairspray. If you haven't watched that, I have a video about how to maintain oily hair and oily scalp. It was probably one of my first videos, so um, once I do that little routine, I'll go in and I'll put a little bit of this on my hands and just kind of like rub it together. And I'll go underneath, so back here in my hair, and I'll kind of just like work it in and rub it through and then gonna bring it down to the ends and I'll get a little bit more, rub it again, and then I'll go and I'll bring everything to the side and kind of just run my fingers through it, focusing a lot on the ends too to just try and get, um, get a little bit of protection before I use any heat tools on it. I do use a heat spray as well, but that's just immediately when my hair is still fresh out of the shower, I will use this, and I've been really enjoying it. Some argan oils I feel like are cheaply made, and they're not, they're kind of watery, and I don't like that. I'm very picky about them, to where this one smells pretty decent, like it's not bad at all, and it's got a nice thick consistency, which is what I am looking for. It's thicker than like olive oil, but it's not like a glop like it will definitely come out of the bottle if I were to tip it but it's a thicker consistency which is what I look for in a really good quality argan oil that is worth your money because these can be pretty expensive and then next okay it's like good and bad with this I am mentioning this in my favorites because I enjoy it it is a really pretty highlighter it's just the um, bar of gold from Charlotte Tilbury this was the second release after they did the original one everybody's complaining about the packaging mind you this is so tiny I knew it was gonna be small but I didn't know it was gonna be like itty bitty when it came in the box I was like okay where's the product I don't see anything that could have a product in it and it just was wrapped up really tiny <clears throat> anyway it just looks like this it's a tiny little gold bar and I do like that it's at least magnetic around the packaging here so it'll close good and I enjoy that. This is more of a subtle highlighter. I was expecting it to be on the lines of the Filmstar Bronze and Highlight, the highlights in that one, but this is a lot more of a subtle, which I do like because I mean I like my days where it's a little bit more natural on the highlighting side and this is great for that. So if anybody prefers a more subtle highlight, this is a really cute little highlighter. Mind you, it is expensive, so if you can still find it and you're interested, I like it. If not, that there's probably plenty of dupes for this. And then on the theme of highlighters, 
I have been loving this kit and it's the this is the glow kit so which is the more bronzy one that's what I was going for and it is like this I love these shades the only one I haven't used yet is this one just because 99% of the time I prefer like a matte realms or E area but summer's coming up so I'll switch it up and use that but I love these are just so let's see so pigmented and just shiny and pretty I don't know I really really have been enjoying them and the pan size is gigantic so in reality it's pretty much like ten dollars a pan but for something that size it's a great great deal because who actually goes through highlighters I have so many I don't know if I'll ever ever go through an entire highlight if I do That'll be an exciting day. But I'm going to go on to brushes now. I am obsessed with this Real Techniques brush. This is one of the, um, the, it's, the one of the, like, the fancier ones. The Gunmetal Collection, I believe. That, I believe. Don't quote me. I could totally be wrong by that. But this is just the number 100 brush. It's just like a really big brush but it's flat and a little bit tapered up here on the sides it's just great and as you can see I use this for my contour so I will go in with that um the Morphe G0 brush the fluffy one I showed you last month and I'll bronze up the skin a little bit and then I'll go in with this one and just chisel away and because it's so fluffy versus brushes like normally when using that are very like densely packed this just blends everything together a lot more natural looking which is what I've been looking for for I swear like a year so I'm so excited it's really really good quality the handle here is just very like good quality metal it's really pretty like it just it holds like a pencil for me which is kind of basically how I use it um I am left-handed fun fact so I just it just is such a great 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 brush so if you have not tried this I would definitely give this entire collection from um, Real Techniques with these different ones they have like rose gold silver and then um, <clears throat> just gold as well which is what this one is really good quality brushes a lot of the times they have them buy one get one half off or buy one get one free at Ulta so take advantage of that and the next one is just the Japanese brush this is the cut crease brush it has no um, name or number on the brush unfortunately I feel like that's something that would be beneficial if they would add but I just remember it from the packaging this is a really nice fluffy brush that I use for just getting into that crease and just adding color like this would be really good obviously it's a cut crease brush but it's just really good for getting and placing product exactly where you want it blends out it's not an itchy brush it is I don't know what kind of hair this is, if it's natural or not. I believe it might be some form of uh, natural, but it's just really soft and it doesn't itch my eye because I can't stand that, especially when you're blending. you can be itching it a lot. Next is a dupe that I'm so excited about. I love Give Me Brow from Benefit. That is my all-time, like, one of, it's like my OG favorite, like, brow product. I found a dupe that is, like, a fraction of the price. Give Me Brow is $24 now. I'm like, oh. Mind you, it lasts me a long time, but still. This is the Essence Make Me Brow, and it is almost identical, and it's $2.99. Hello, I found mine at Target, and I just got so lucky. Mind you, this is the lighter one. I got one of each because I was so excited about them, and they were so affordable. Like, I should have got ten of each, but whatever. Um, I've been using this one just because I opened it, and I bought it, and I use it. It is... Oh, it is too light for my brows, but once I put my other products, you can't tell. That's what I have on today. Um, so it blends in. It's just a fiber brow filler inner. It's my fun thing. I kind of want to do, once I come up with some more dupes, I want to do a, a video specifically about dupes so I can tell you about it. But this is amazing. So if you're looking for something that's more affordable than the Give Me Brow, this Make Me Brow from Essence is 99.9% .9 of the same. That's all I gotta say. And two lashes. I was so surprised. I just I'm really a fan of this brand now. I I don't know why it took me so long to discover it, but it is the Violet Voss lashes. This is the style I do not care. It's just like a really fun, wispy, flary, spiky. I don't know. It's just really great. And it's hard for me to find lashes that I really like. This is a really lightweight. They bend really well, and it's um, <clears throat> it's foaming. So if anybody is not into mink, those are foam mink and they're pretty affordable. 
And the last one, like makeup related at least, um, is the Blinking Butte. I really wish I knew how to say if it was Butte or Butte, but I've been saying Butte, so I guess I'm going to stick with that until somebody tells me from the company that that's not how they want it to be said. Um, this is the design number six. It It is. Yeah, it's the lashes I have on right now. These are my favorite lashes probably of all time. I've mentioned these before, and I am still using them. So this is an update. I feel like sometimes when you watch favorite videos, you never know if you, they use those products again. Like, okay, it's your favorites this month, but like four months from now, are you still liking them? So I'm still liking these. These are expensive because they are mink lashes, but I've worn them a lot. And these are still my first pair. Of, sometimes you know, I'll probably have to um, <sighs> bite the bullet and get another pair, but this is just the most natural looking lashes for my eye shape because I have like round eyes that are kind of like smaller so this doesn't overwhelm my little eyeballs so if anybody else has eyeballs that look similar try those because they're natural and they're long and they're wispy and they just look really pretty kind of like you got lash extensions but without the money and drama of your lashes falling out afterwards and then i have sunglass favorites okay the color that are my favorite are in the car but the style is exactly the same and it's just the key muse this is the um I think it was like the gray I don't know it's the gray one but my favorite are the rose gold ones that look identical to this but they have the rose gold lenses those are in the car but I've been obsessed with this style um it's so crazy how different face shapes I kind of want to make a video about that too but I don't have other face shapes to show you so I don't know but um how different face shapes the glasses look different on everybody since I have a more like round slash oval I guess face um these don't look nearly as big on my face as they do with somebody with more slender, long face. These look very oversized, but these, they look really nice. Yeah, I'll just put them on. See, as you can see, they don't look quite as big on my face as I've seen other people's, and it looks so nice on long faces because it just looks... I love big glasses. Those are my favorite. Um, I like that they stay... Okay, these ones stay better than the other ones. The rose gold ones, I have the biggest annoyance with them. My only annoyance, really, is that when I go like this, they slide off my face. I don't know what that is, but apparently the these ones don't do it, which I appreciate. But they're just, they're really pretty. I would leave them on for the rest of the video, but I don't want to be bougie, so whatever. I did pick up another pair. I'm going to wear them this month, and I'll let you know if it's a favorite because I'm really excited. They're one of the new sh styles that Quay, wow, that Key just came out with, and I'm so excited. Lastly, okay, second to last, I just forgot about this. I really like Etsy. Sometimes I'll just explore on there, and this is how I discovered this brand. It is called Cake Life. It is a clothing brand here in LA, and I ordered two things from them. I'm just going to show you one today because I haven't worn the other one yet. And this, fail. Thank goodness I'm wearing a, ugh, a matte lipstick, otherwise I would have gotten on the shirt. But this is just like an oversized sweater. And can you see that design? I'm obsessed. This is the design that that company came up with. It is just like a diamondized heart. It's so pretty against this black hoodie. It is, obviously, it's a hoodie. I got the size small, and this is very oversized on me. So it's just like a perfect, comfy sweater. It's really good quality. It's only like $30, like right around the $30 mark. And... I mean, I just like supporting smaller businesses, so if you're interested in a new clothing line for, like, they have, like, fun sweaters. They have sweaters, like, when that peanut butter sweater was, like, popular that just said peanut butter and it was, like, orange or, like, a, a mustardy yellow color. They had that. They have shirts that say, like, Bay. I don't know. I, I will link the website or their link to their shop below in the description bar because it is such cute clothing. And then this for sure is the last thing. Just some song favorites. So I have been loving two songs from Jessie J. One is called Sweet Talker and one is called Masterpiece. I love when Jessie J like raps and like breaks it down. Like not like hardcore rap but just like talking really fast and rhyming pretty much. I love. She's got so much power to her voice. I'm obsessed. Oh, Jessie J is like a powerhouse. Love it. Uh, obviously I like that song Pillow Talk from Zane. I'm interested. Like I'm kind of wondering what to see what his entire album will look like. So we shall see when that comes out. And then lastly, Melanie Martinez. She is so, like, cool. It's so weird watching my style and my taste in things change as I get older, but she's just such, like, a cool indie artist. I love the song Carousel and Soap. If you've never heard Soap from Melanie Martinez, because she's a relatively, like, 
newer artist that's getting popular. I mean, I don't know how long she's been out and about, but she's getting more steam behind her now. Melanie Martinez, Soap, look it up. You will not regret it. Or at least I hope you won't because that song is so good. And I love Bubbles. And you can hear Bubbles in the background. Oh, I die. Yeah. Yes. Okay, anyway, so that is all for my favorites. That's actually... That was a fun favorite. I don't feel like I need to have 50 pieces. I can kind of just talk a lot more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon in my next video.